I'm Adam Gordon. I'm co-founder and CEO at Candidate ID, which is recruitment software for international employers and staffing agencies. So I hadn't ever previously heard this term dadpreneur before until I spoke to you and I'm fascinated to understand what a dadpreneur is and uh, are you one? Yeah, so uh, it was my wife that d uh, came up with that term. I'd never heard it before either and uh, she said that I'm a dadpreneur and uh, the, the term mumpreneur has been um, around a little bit longer and it, it, if you've ever watched Dragon's Den you'll see there's mums who come on and they pitch their business idea and it's often something that they've come up with while they've been maybe on maternity leave for example. So um, a dadpreneur is somebody who uh, either is in a, a, a senior executive career or runs their own business um, but is equally committed to being a father. And is this something to do with demographics? Is it something to do with people in, in your generation handling their work situations differently? Well, there's been a big change in terms of who goes out and acts as the breadwinner within a, within a family. So um, in the past, people were having, people in senior executive positions were having children, I think, much more so maybe in their 20s than they are now. But certainly a lot of my friends um, I'm 41 and, and, and I've got two kids under four and a lot of my friends are very similar and they're lawyers and they're doctors and they're accountants and, um, and some of them are entrepreneurs and the, the impact of having children later in your career is that you've got a bigger pressure from your home life at what could be termed to be a more crucial part of your career in your sort of late 30s and into your 40s. Is this something to do with the generational change and the fact that um, people like you have a, a job whereas your, your wife also has a, a really important career herself? Yeah, absolutely. So um, again, maybe in the, let's say the 80s, it would have been less usual for uh, both parents to have um, equal commitment to a, a high pressured career. So my wife's a marketing director for an international company, and you know we we, ha we have to have equality within our household around who has priority over spending time with our children versus spending time on their career. So this this is something where uh, the women have um, more opportunity to really develop their career, and, and you're making certain adjustments to facilitate that. Yeah, so I mean, th there remains questions around whether women have the same opportunities as men, but they certainly have a lot, lot, you know, there's a lot closer of opportunity to men than ever in the past. And so families need to really adapt to that. And you have to work in partnership um, to assess who's going to be available um, for family activities. And, and you have to juggle that every single day. And it's, 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 it's more pressure than it maybe was in the past. Equality has been um, a liberating force, I think, for all of us. And what has it meant for the dadpreneur? Well, it means that the dadpreneur has to be much stricter about the way that he goes about um, running his business or running his career if he's employed and um, has, to be, has to make uh, adjustments to the way that he would split up the commitment to, to achieving his objectives. So what adjustments have, have you made in, in your life as a dadpreneur? Well, I run, my, I run my working day very, very strictly. So I finish work at five o'clock every day, or I'm, I'm home from work at five o'clock every single day. I start working again at about 7.30 or, or eight o'clock, and I'm, I'm working till maybe um, 10 or 11 o'clock. Something else that's, I think, um, personal to me is that I spend a lot of time now liaising with people in the United States. So I've made my business and the way that I, I work um, really adapt around um, family life so that I'm taking several hours off in kind of the middle of the traditional working day, but then I'm starting again to, to uh, get onto USA time. And does that mean that you know, if you need to take days out to fulfill some family commitments, that actually the work has to fit in with that? Absolutely, and again, it, it's about uh, I'm I'm working internationally, so it may well be that if I've if I'm not able to work uh, during the traditional 
UK working day, I'm, I'm, I'm actually doing some work before the kids are up and I'm liaising with people in Asia Pacific. And then once they've gone to bed, I'm back working again and I'm liaising with people in, in the United States. How important has been the changes in technology or how important are those changes in technology? So the way that I now work couldn't, couldn't really have been done even maybe 10 years ago. Now uh, I'm talking to people, I hardly use the telephone anymore, and I'm talking to people on Hangouts or on Skype, and uh, that instant ability to effectively have a meeting, even though you're thousands of miles away from somebody, um, has been a major uh, benefit. The, the changes in technology have been dramatic in, in the last few years. What role has that played in terms of the evolving of a dadpreneur? Well, it's created brilliant flexibility for a dadpreneur or, or any senior executive or any entrepreneur because um, it means that they no longer have to go into the office to be 100% effective. They can work uh, just as well from almost anywhere as long as they can find a quiet space. And certainly we've created an office within our house which is... Um, the quiet zone for, for, for doing calls with people thousands and thousands of miles away and, and really getting on with it. But you don't need to sort of schedule a call with somebody in, in Singapore or whatever. You can have a conversation with somebody, whether they be in, in South America or Singapore, and you can do that almost immediately. Absolutely. And there's employers that we work with who have got open policies around uh, roles that they're recruiting for, whereby that person can be based anywhere in the world as long as they can connect and, and they can uh, liaise with all the people they need to talk to. I guess in the past, the role of an entrepreneur was impossible because you kind of had to be physically present. You had to be in the office showing that you were there all the time and that it made it impossible for you to fulfill the commitments at home. Whereas you managed to find a way that you can actually be, be both. You can be the entrepreneur in the office for the business, but you can also be a dad at home. Absolutely, and it comes back to um, the, the concept that uh, people's work and personal lives have now really converged. And for me, certainly my working day is often a kind of staccatoed um, experience. And it might be that I'm working between six and eight p.m. Uh, a.m. And then I'm working again for a good chunk during the, the UK working day. But then I finish and I'm home by five o'clock. I do the kids tea and I do the kids bath. I do the kids story. And then I'm working again between, say, 8 and 10 in the evening. Fascinating. Thank you. Thank you.